Hello, welcome um, to everyone that's subscribing to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to do a short uh, video on some predictions about the coronavirus and what's going on in Australia and about the world here in 2020. Um, leading up to here when I tuned in to this year, I didn't feel like it was going to be a positive year and it hasn't been um, a, a positive year. I feel like in the beginning of the year, you know, we were also celebrated. I know down here in Australia, we were hearing about the coronavirus, but we weren't really concerned about it. And I know for us here, it's just in this last couple of weeks, it's just blown up. And it's, for some of us, it's been very frustrated. It's very confusing. It's just been very, very hectic. Um, but what I see with the astrology that, that's come around, so we had in January, the 12th of January, we had Pluto and we had Saturn come together. Now we're in Capricorn. So Capricorn is about um, structure. It's about like banking, like the banking institutions. It's about law and order. It's governments. It's all these things. And then we have Pluto, which is about destruction and rebuild. And we've got Saturn, which is problems. It's always, they tell us the teacher as well, but it brings in the problems. And what I've been getting is that um, when you think back about 2008 and we had that crash there, it's like the governments around the world, they haven't learned their lesson from that yet, where governments were still injecting money into economies and thinking if we just inject the money, it's all going to get better. And the plans are sort of saying to us, no, it didn't work then, it's not going to work now. Nothing's going to come of this, just doing it the same way. There needs to be a new way that you need to come up with to make things better. And at the moment, where they are now with the planets, is that we've got Pluto on one end, we've got Saturn on here, and then we've got Mars, which is the planet of war. It's strength, but it's a planet of war, which has just come into this week. So this week is the 30, like tomorrow, Monday, is the 30th of March, 2020. So Mars is its anger, its war, it is strength. So I just feel like this week, it's just gonna bubble everything up again. Um, it's just gonna bring everything up to the surface. And then we've got Jupiter, which, also, which is the planet of luck, then trying to come in as well. So we've got, which is in the middle. So you can see, especially later on in the year, when you're getting towards um, May, June, July, you've got the this, you've got the Saturn on one end, and you've got the Pluto on the other end, which is creating this force or this energy of this just destruction, rebuilding, these problems coming up. And the Jupiter is in the middle, which is luck, and it's trying to shine and make everything better, but it's just not working because the other two plants are being stronger. Um, what I, and so what I have been seeing for us in Australia, I feel like the peak will be in June. Um, I do feel like we are going to be in a lockdown. I, I was getting, when I, I did this earlier um, during the week, I was getting there was going to be a lockdown for us in, in May, when it's 12th of May. Although I feel like we're that happening now, that it might become sooner. And I was talking to my guys yesterday and they were saying to me, look, just wait, just wait and see, wait and see. Yeah, keep on giving me May. So I will say May, even though the way the thing's going, it could be sooner. I do feel like they're going to be working from home in April. So dare say beginning of this, like coming into the beginning of April, April, people are, or everyone that can, or everyone that, they've, they want to see, you know, isn't um, like a policewoman or policeman, sorry, um, or working in the hospitals, like people aren't, aren't, who aren't on the front line will be forced to work from home. Everything will, will be sort of shut, but still sort of going a ahead. But I do feel like there's going to be some sort of big lockdown um, when we get to May. So I do feel like there is going to be a point in, in June um, as well. I just see like there's like, I, I don't I see when I put these cards out, there's just a lot of sadness in the cards. Um, we've got, it's like destruction. There's a lot of standoffish as, as well. That's happening. Um, and I see like with the economy, I just see like they're trying to build money, a foundation of money, and it's just not working. And a big gush of wind just comes and, and, and blows it away. Um, and even with, with the, the, the housing, the, the housing market that, that's going, I, I keep on seeing these buildings that are half built and people just walking away and people just saying, I'm done, I'm, I'm done with it. It's just like there's, there's just going to be a problem. So I feel like, you know, come past June, it might get a little bit better, but I feel like it's just going to blow up again, especially around September when we've got the, these two planets coming together again and Jupiter's east off. So for me, I feel like for us in, in Australia, that it, the, the virus will be here until December. I feel like December, it's gonna sort of just go away. Um, so I do feel like it will be here with us for a year. 
But it's also like a standoff with government and a standoff with the people that's happening as well. As like no one's happy. Like over here, um, you know, we in Australia we are um, we're governed by a Capricorn, and Capricorn's all about rules. And but at the same time, a Capricorn person, if you know any Capricorns, they do follow rules. But if they they can break you. If no one's watching, they will break the rules. And that's how what's happening. We don't like to be told what to do. We don't like to be. We follow the rules, but we'll break them if we can. If no one's going to catch us, we'll always try and, and try and break them. And it's just about um, this this emotion that's coming up um, that's bubbling in, inside. The stock market, I feel like it's not going to recover just yet. I do feel like it's going to be sort of a bit shaky. Um, and then I, I feel like it's going to be um, September. I feel like there's going to be another drop around September, or even June, July. It's just, I feel like that should get better for anyone into stocks next year. Um, I do get February next year is a better time for when the stocks are going to recover. Um, I don't know, do you see China or this? Like China is um, sort of now standing back and it's like they almost want to come out as the hero of all this, that they've, you know, they fixed it up, it, it's fine, but there's an under, not under the layer, there's a layer that's underneath this um, as well. And it's going to become this like bidding war or it's like, um, so, you know, it might not be like war as in what we've known in the past, um, like a more of an argument, but it, it's like, You've got Trump on one end and you've got China on the other end. China's coming out saying it's a hero. But then you've got America coming out and blaming them. And all the other countries are the same because they're all pointing fingers because this has just destroyed and crippled everyone. Everyone's trying to do their part. Everyone's just trying to get better and build everything up. And then it's just a wave of emotion. It's just coming coming in. Um, so I just feel like it's going to be touch and go in the coming months just try and be patient i know it's really hard up there and everyone is sort of struggling in their own ways even if myself i've just felt this last couple of days a lot of anger in it um for me I, i'm an, an aquarium myself so i don't like to be trapped and i don't like um being like sort of forced in my house so i like to be out in the freeze and i've just it's affected me as an anger i've just found myself to be a lot more angry this last couple of days and more frustration and I feel like everyone's wanting the good to come through and having that that positive and that communication of wanting it to be positive but nothing seems to be working I'm trying to sort of take a step forward two steps back um with this and I just feel like because especially when the planets start going into retrograde it's going to cause us a lot of um what's the word not it's not going to be even it's just going to be up, up and down irrational um, you know, even for the kids at school, everything's up in the air with them as well. So the best all we can do, you know, with things are going to get better. Um, I do believe in destiny. So I believe in like the, I do follow the planets. So whatever the planets lead the way, um, this is something that was meant to happen. I don't believe anything that we should have done to stop it. Um, it's just what's come out now and we just need to work through it, do with it the best that we can, try and stay patient, try and to just relax and you know just try and do things that's going to make us a bit more patient and try and take a step back as i know it's going to be very hard this um, next couple of months and i don't you know i do feel like coming september you know it might like i know it, something might happen then but in between you got say july august you know it might seem to be a little bit better it might be some a bit of positives to come up again but more so november coming to the end of the year is when I feel like it's going to be a bit more. Um, I do get February next year that it's going to be like the sun shines out again and that Jupiter energy, the energy of luck is going to really come through and help everyone. Although the housing market, I don't see picking up until around 2024 um, and all the other markets. But in general, the people, I do feel like um, next year life is going to be a bit more easier and just pick up a little bit better. Um, I wish I had some better, better news. I mean, I also feel like there's probably going to be some more um like disrupt like earthquakes happening around the world as well um or it's like it's sort of even split into two it's like there's two sides but there could, there could be some sort of earthquakes as well that that's happening um but other than like the fresh disasters it's just like this year everything's just coming on top of each other it's like this condensed energy and everything's got falling on top and we just need to try to make peace with it and just try and get through it the best that we can so I will leave it there. Um, I wish everyone well and, and all the best. 
and good luck to everybody through this difficult time. And just know that next year is going to be a better time for everyone where we're all going to shine. Um, so I'll leave it there. Say so thank you for your comments. Thank you for liking. Thank you for sharing. And please subscribe to my page so you get um, all the new videos that I upload um, during the month.